Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Melissa and if you're new here, welcome. So today's video is a little quick and easy get ready with me um, a hair and makeup routine with some of my favourite products. So stay tuned if you want to see how I created this a simple look. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give a big thumbs up if you like this video as it already has my channel grow and stay tuned. So the vibe we have today is sitting on the floor. Does anyone else like after work, the last thing they want to do is put on a full face of makeup. And especially for me, considering I do people's makeup all day. But I'm going for dinner. So I'm just gonna do a quick, like really soft glam makeup. So we're on the floor because my legs are tired. I'm not gonna lie. And I just don't fancy sitting at a table and just, yeah, I just don't. So excuse the hair. I did blow dry it, but we need to straighten it. Okay, so I've just moisturized my skin. So I'm gonna go in with the Ella Maske, and this is their Veil Hydra Veil Refreshing Gel Primer. To be honest, there's actually not much left in this, so I'm just gonna apply it to the areas that I feel that I really need it. It's a really nice primer. So yeah, I'm going for dinner tonight. Um, not fancy, but I said why not just get glammed up and just do basic my everyday makeup and record it. So here I am. I'm gonna go with the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I absolutely love this. It's just such a quick and easy product to wear. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with something a bit different today. I'm gonna go with the NARS Sheer Glow. Usually I always wear like the long wear radiant, but we're just gonna go like really soft. Yeah, so does anyone like absolutely dread getting herself ready to go somewhere after work? Because it's literally one of my like pet hates is getting myself ready. And I just don't know it's because I've been doing makeup all day and I just don't find the excitement in it. Like, don't get me wrong, when I am ready, I am loving life. When I actually have to do it myself, it's just not so pretty and I'm just not liking it and I just don't really like it. So I'm just gonna name the Flomar stick in 01 and I'm just gonna kind of bring this to areas that I want to highlight. I feel like this year I am not very festive, but I don't think I'm really festive any year, to be honest. Um, I don't know, this year I'm just not really festive. I don't know if it's because of COVID. I don't know if it's because I've been out. So like I've actually forced myself to get out um, for the next like two weeks and try and make myself into like be a festive like queen because at the moment I'm just not feeling it. Um, I think as well, because usually I'm so busy with Christmas that like people going to like Christmas parties and stuff that like everyone's talking about like Christmas parties and like just Christmas things. And this year I feel like everyone's just kind of like a bit like gloomy and just like oh no no Christmas party but in fairness people are still like getting their makeup done because they just want to feel good and why not like why not feel good I'm not gonna lie I'm not forgetting my concealers so we're just gonna make the Flomar like contour stick work and we're just gonna try like make it look like my under eye is bright so we're just gonna with no concealer today which is like I feel like crying but we're just gonna have to work with it because this is what we have here so we're just gonna really hope it works out but at least I have the Nourish Your Glow because it's not too heavy. So even bringing that up underneath the eye is not going to be a big deal. Oh my God, for I can see it from my eyeballs, what am I going to do? We have the Flomar one, but it might be a bit dark, but we're just going to try and make it work. Okay, we're just going to go with the Sheer Glow on the eyes as well because it's just a lighter tone. Um, we're just going to make this work. So I'm after discovering this like product that I actually got for PR a couple of weeks ago. And it's the Bellamiante Illuminating Bronzing Drops. So I've been using this for the last couple of weeks in my makeup routine for like these quick and easy like makeup root makeup looks. So we're gonna go for it tonight. So I'm just gonna pump this out and it kind of gives you like a really bronzy look without going too harsh on the contour. So yeah, I was meant to be going to Lisbon for a New Year's, but unfortunately. We had to um, move it just with restrictions and stuff. Um, I wasn't really too sure like if it was worth going over just because I'd already wanted to be going over and everywhere closed um, and having a curfew and stuff. And to be honest, everything's just a bit up in the air at the moment that I just feel I don't really want to risk going over. Um, and like, yeah, like having curfews and stuff. And if I go over, I really want to like, you know, just enjoy it and stuff. So I'm kind of disappointed, obviously, that I cannot, that I'm not doing anything really for New Year's anymore. But, um, and then another thing as well we were worried about was, will they bring in like some like travel restrictions, like while we're over there and you might have to like quarantine and stuff. Um, so we were like, oh, we'll just move it. And 
will like try to get to go in March. So see how it just gives like like that lovely bronzy glow. So so far we have no plans for New Year's. Um, I was really looking forward to it. What can you do for my eyes as well? I'm actually going to go with the Bellamath. Bellamianta uh, bronze and drops again, tiniest amount, and I'm just going to basically like bring this to the edge of my eye. So I'm going to go in with Fenty Beauty, and this is in Desert Island. And I just want to set my illuminating drops anywhere I applied it, so on my cheeks, on my eyes. This is definitely one of my favorite products um, of 2021. Definitely, I'm obsessed with the Fenty Beauty range and I really need to do like a full stock take on the whole collection because I'm just in love. And um, to be honest, I kind of put back on like buying a lot of makeup this year because obviously I just didn't know what way things were clients and stuff were going. But now I think for 2022, we are just going to do a full revamp of my kit and get a load of new products. Fab. Literally my hair grows so fast as I like well, it, like, there's roots already. I only got my hair done, like, Wednesday a week, and today is Saturday, so literally, like, seven, like, ten days ago, and I have roots already. Like, it's actually just crazy. Like, consider my last YouTube video, like, I literally had no roots, and now I have roots. Like, no wonder people struggle to keep blonde hair. Like, it's just crazy. Like, my hair grows so fast. Obviously, like, that's a really good thing, because people wish their hair grows fast, but when you're blonde and your hair grows this fast, like, it's just... It's just it's kind of annoying and I love when I just do not have a root. But this is kind of giving me anxiety already. Like, why is there a root there? I'm just gonna bring this slightly down my nose, just to slightly bring that product up, fluff it up into the brow, kind of set that illuminator, bring down the side of the nose. So I'm gonna have the Charlotte Tilbury powder and this is an airbrush flawless finish in number two. Again, I feel like this product was massive for 2021 because it is such a good product. I'm just gonna go with a little fluffy brush and this is my Molly O'Brien brush, my absolute favorite, which is the M07. And I'm literally just gonna lightly just pat this on my eye and I'm just gonna bring it in the side of the nose then as well. And just right underneath, just to kind of fluff out, to give that kind of airbrush finish. You literally only need the smallest amount of this as well. So I'm just have to do my brows off camera. So I use their Refi, Brow Serum and their Brow Promenade. So I'm gonna go with a bit of cream blush and this is from Sosu and this is number two peach blush. I actually really like this color. So I just like a really fluffy brow. I know some people absolutely hate my brows. I've got comments about them before. People are so sensitive about a brow. I like a big fluffy brow. So I'm just gonna set that blush with the Balm. This is called Swiss Dot. And it's like a really kind of peachy kind of pink. So I'm going in with Alain Masque Beyond Powder. And this is the OMG powder, which I absolutely love. Yeah, so lately, like, do you ever have that, like, really good feeling that you know something good is going to happen? Because I have have I have that feeling, like, literally the last, I'm going to say the last, like, three weeks that something is literally coming my way and I can feel it. To be honest, it's been, like, such a crap for two years, like, in all aspects of my life, I feel that finally something good is coming and I'm ready for it. I feel like 2022 is gonna be my year, but yeah, I said this last year, it was an absolute disaster, but let's let's be hopeful. For my lips, I'm actually using MAC Whirl, kind of slightly after lifting the height in them. And I'm going in with the Maybelline, which I'm actually obsessed with these. This is the Lictor Gloss in shade, oh, Stone. But they're so pigmented and they're glosses, so, they're just really easy to wear. Like, I love it. So I think that's my makeup done. Like, I'm not gonna go much heavier than this, so I'm just gonna like do my hair now. And literally, I'm just gonna be like basic, basic tonight. I'm just gonna literally straighten it because I literally just. So I recently like started doing this, started doing this like new little technique with my hair now. This is like so simple and probably, do you know, it's like a lot of people do this, but I don't know. Um, I just find that it makes, so yeah, I literally just get my hair now and I found this little technique really, really like just helps. So I kind of just curl it up at the end. So I kind of do it as I'm going along straight in my hair, but then I kind of go back over it. Um, 
and get it all together and I literally just like curl it up and then down and it just kind of feels like a bit of a kind of kicks it in I actually seen Mary um Bedford doing this and I started basically copying her and it actually really does make like such a difference to your hair sorry about my like I kind of find the robes of my dress gowns anywhere so I literally have like a red thing on top of it baby robe on you but you can see the difference like it just kind of kicks it in a bit compared to like this side it just looks a bit like flat I don't like to straighten my hair too much I literally straighten my hair like once a week because I'm just so obsessed with like my hair breaking and stuff so we are ready I literally um yeah I literally just threw on uh, a little turtle neck um, a little top, a blazer. So this is the finished look. I'm ready to rock and I literally did this in, I have 10 minutes to spare. Okay, so that was cool going, but I found these shoes in my wardrobe, um, which I actually got last year, but I was like, these are Christmassy vibe. And uh, so these like beautiful Hawaiian sock boots. So I tried to coordinate my outfit around this that was still like just casual dinner. Um, so yeah, I'll have a little pitch up on my Instagram, which you will probably see before you see this video. But <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I better go, so I will chat to you soon.